Good morning. We're going to show you something interesting today of how to create a dipped gold effect on a glazed surface. And we have several different samples here to show you to get the effect of uh, that webbing or lacing of gold. You also can use the white gold as well as the bright gold or the premium gold. And uh, each one is going to give you a different effect. So over here, we have um, a tree that was done with a white glaze and then fired and then dipped into the gold, which we're going to show you. And if you notice, the gold is bright, but there's a lot of pink look to it. And the pink is what happens is when the gold is very thin, it comes up pinkish or a purplish color. And that's why you get the two-tone effect there. Here we have a couple ornament balls done in different uh, types of glaze. The red one was the red foundation glaze, and then the ball was dipped into that. The blue one is the Element uh, Mirror Blue EL134, and one of the characteristics of that one, it has some crazing going on, so when it's dipped, it looks like it's got a crackle effect to it, as well as the webbing. So that makes it kind of really interesting. On this side, we have um, two of the done up in with element glazes, other colors on uh, as a base, and then the gold on the one here, and then the other one here has got the white gold on it. So you, you have a choice of whichever way you want to go. The uh, product comes in these little bottles. Um, there's actually only two grams of product in the bottle, even though it looks big, it's only a small amount. And then we have the essence for cleaning if you're doing brushing um, on a surface when you're done to clean your brushes out. You should keep one bottle of essence for each product so you don't have cross-contamination from one to the other with your brushes. And the same there, you want to keep separate ones. And one of the things we have now are separate brushes for the gold. We have ones that are uh, gold painted handles. Uh, we have it in a, a filbert uh, or a rounded shader. Uh, we have a small liner type brush for detail work. And then we have the same thing for the white gold. It comes in a, like a silverish handle. The mother of pearl has a white handle. So this way it helps you distinguish each one of the, the types of handles that uh, for each product so you don't have a problem with contamination. So to do this dipping, um, we need a container of some sort. One thing you do not want to use is a pan with alum aluminum foil type pan because that will uh, degrade the gold right away. That doesn't work at all, uh, the combination of the metals. So I found it easier just to take one of these kind of plastic pictures and then take a plastic bag and then just put that in there, pull it over the edges real, and then push it up against the sides and then fill it with warm water. So I have one here that's already to go. And you wanna come up about two inches below the surface with the water because you're gonna be putting something in there and you don't want the piece to be flushing water out all over the place. So um, the water should be a, a, like a room temperature, but not a cold temperature, it, more of a warm water is what you want. So if, you, if your room is warm, it's good, but I prefer to work with a little bit of warm water. So that's what I have in here. Now to do this, um, we're gonna use the bright gold to put the gold into the water, uh, what we want to do is have the gold float on the surface of the water. So we're not going to take the bottle and just pour it in uh, because that's just excessive. Uh, we're just going to use a toothpick. And the trick is that you just want to touch the surface of the water with the gold. You do not want to hold it and let it drip from a high area because it will go to the bottom of the water. So you just take this a couple times and touch 
that it floats on the top of the water. So you do, whoops, now there goes one, right to the bottom. I, I don't know if you could see that on the camera, but maybe that it went down. There we go. So now, I'll close the bottle up so we don't spill it. You don't want to spill this stuff, it's expensive. So now we're going to just take the toothpick and kind of just swirl it, the gold floating on the top in the water just to get it randomly around. And then we're going to take our piece now this particular one has just got a white foundation on and black at the top. And I'm going to hold on to it. And as I hold on to it, I'm going to slowly immerse it in the water. And what happens is the gold should stick to the gold, uh, to the, to the surface. So you can see some of it at the bottom here. And then what we can do is we let, let that sit a minute here. We'll set that off to a side. And I'm going to put a little bit more just to get it a little bit more gold on there. This time I'm going to put just a little bit more in here so we can see it better. Okay, now there's no problem in re-dipping this. You can go right back in. And there we go. Sometimes if you turn it on an angle, you can get some of it. You can see a lot more. So you could see some of it on there. Try and get a little bit more. To get a real heavy amount of it, you have to do it a couple times to, um, you could see the bottom's got a good bit on it. So I'm going to put a little more and the next time I'm going to come more on an angle. Now pieces that you can hang on to are better to do than, oops, there goes one. And I'm going to show you one that, like the ornament balls, I'll show you a way to do those because the they get a little tricky. All right, this time we're gonna go in on an angle to get more area. There we go. So I'm sure there's some over here somewhere that'll come up, but we could go on further and and have more. That's up to you how much how much you want to do and how far you want to go with the dipping. But uh, that is the process and then we just let it dry and then it gets fired to a cone 018. The um, glaze was at an 06 of course being a low fire piece and then you want to fire your gold or your white gold to a 018 cone. Now to do a ornament ball it's awful hard to try to hang on to these. Uh, it's bad enough to try to glaze them uh, without getting it all over you. But a good trick is you can take a coat hanger and put the coat hanger in the ornament and then go ahead and dip that way. Uh, if this is too much in your way, you can just scrunch this up, up a little bit, make it more like a handle, and then you're, you're ready to go this way. So this could work on a lot of pieces that maybe you have a small opening 
Um, and then you got to get it out. <laughs> but um, you would remove it after it dries for a while. You don't want to take it off when it's wet. So this way you can even take this and hang it somewhere so it can dry and drip and it'll work real good that way. So um, I hope that's uh, some good information for you and hope you enjoy trying dipping gold and getting a lace effect and come up with some interesting pieces. And as always, make it Mako.